All right, your next comment coming up is Paul Wiener. Paul Wiener, everybody, let's hear for Paul Wiener. Hey, you guys, how you doing? When you know some, I lost 60 pounds. Yes, thank you, thank you. His name's Trevor, he's about this tall. If you see him, tell him daddy still loves him. I'm a queer, I'm a liberal, and I'm a Jew. Yeah. Some of you just heard the same thing three times. You did. Yeah. Um, my son came to me the other day. He's 13. He's going on his first date. I was really excited. More excited than him. <clears throat> he's the last of my virgins. I'm not sure who I'm going to sacrifice now if he gets laid. I asked him where they were going. He said, a Bible study. I failed my son. I, uh, I didn't know what to do. I'm, uh, I'm a 52-year-old punk rocker. I got into punk rock 40 years ago. Back then it was called Hey Faggot and they punched you in the head. <laughs> this moment with my son, most perplexing thing ever. I didn't know what to do. I wrote down my Pornhub account information and password and just gave it to him. <laughs> he rolled it up in a ball and threw it at me. He said, Dad, nobody pays for porn. I wasn't gonna let him get away with this. I said, why are you trying to fuck a Christian? He looked me dead in the eye and he goes like this. It's a fetish. <laughs> Should I fix that? <laughs> oh, fuck that. Um, yeah. Um, what else do I want to talk about? So anyway, I don't know if you got laid or not, but you know. Um, so I, uh, this, I, I'm not, I haven't always been the responsible person you see standing before you. I, uh, this might come as a surprise, I used to do drugs. Uh, any of you guys like to get high? I like to get high and listen to music. I think it's really fun. Uh, first time I did speed, I got into metal. And then I, I, I tried cocaine. I got really into punk rock. And then I tried heroin. I sold every record I owned. My girlfriend's bike. Sold my neighbor's TV. But I helped them look for it because I didn't want them to think I was an asshole. And I know what you're thinking. Is heroin that good? Or is Paul's taste in music that bad? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, I've been working out. I was at the gym the other day, and uh, it's this one woman. She's the prettiest woman I've ever seen. And uh, we were standing at the water fountain. I said, I bet everybody in here hits on you. She goes, yeah. She goes, you're hitting on me, aren't you? And I go, actually, no, I, I don't shit where I eat. And she looks me dead in the eye, and she goes like this. She goes, sometimes you just got to take a shit. <laughs> so we went out. And uh, it, was, it was amazing. It was the best date I ever had. I fell in love on the first date. And afterwards, uh, you know, I was saying goodnight. And she goes, how about you come back to my place for dessert? We get back to her place. I'm not kidding. There is a trail of roses leading into her bedroom. And on her bed is chocolate-covered strawberries. She undresses herself, undresses me, tells me to get into the bed, gets on top of me, and starts feeding me. Right then and there, she takes a shit on me while I'm eating. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta take a shit. Yeah, so, anyway. Anybody have any, uh, any mental health issues here? Yeah. Remove the stigma, right? It's depressing, who cares, right? Um, I have suicidal thoughts. Um, they're a little different, though. Uh, it's, I want someone else to kill themselves. <laughs> and if I'm losing anybody, if you've ever driven, you probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, I'm from New Jersey. I drive like this. <laughs> and then I open the garage door. <laughs> and then I start the car. 
And I turn around and say, kids, get out of the car. <laughs> but I really wanted to know what, what was going on, so I Googled it. It's like, what do you call a person who wants someone else to kill themselves? And I got suicide prevention. Not what I'm looking for. <laughs> but I called them anyway. Turns out they have the same problem I have. They hung up on me. <laughs> say, go kill yourself. <laughs> well, what I realized from all this, though, is... Um, if, uh, if I want to kill somebody, I'm homicidal. If I want to kill myself, I'm suicidal. If I want somebody else to kill themselves, um, I'm a visionary. <laughs> it's plain and simple. So anyway, I'll leave you with this. I, uh, I love doing stand-up, and uh, every once in a while, like, some magic happens. And a guy came up to me, and he said he really enjoyed uh, my honesty about my, my uh, drug use. I said, really? He goes, yeah, I'm an addict, too. I was like, really? What, what are you addicted to? He said, I'm addicted to coffee. <laughs> wow. I was like, it must have been rough out there. It was terrible, huh? He goes, yeah. Because I used to go to Starbucks three times a day or I'd get a headache. <laughs> he asked me, he said, what was the worst thing you ever did out there? I said, well, one time I robbed my grandmother at gunpoint. <laughs> you look scared. <laughs> Don't worry, grandma's a pussy. She didn't shoot me. All right, that's my time. I'm going to go. Thanks, guys. <laughs>